What is up, everyone? Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters, bringing you a Just The Sauce video brought to you by the amazing people at mtgcardmarket.com. I'm gonna put a link to their website in the description below. You can save an extra 10% with MTG HQ 10 or Born 2014, I believe are still active promo codes on their website. If you're new to Just The Sauce, I crack the pack, we skip right to the rare, and we move right on. It, uh, it's a fun way to open a box, and since we've already opened our official box, this is a great way to just see the Saz. I am, of course, always looking for fetch lands. I don't, I still have not opened a Sarkon. I have not opened a Sorin. Um, there's an enormous amount of cards that I'm looking for. So this should be fun. And uh, I hope if uh, maybe you're new to the channel that uh, while I'm emptying out this box, take a second to subscribe so you can be notified every time I upload new videos, which are not always unboxing videos. Although a lot of people find me through that, and that's okay. I like doing them. Here we go. A foil Smite the Monstrous. And our first... Oh! There it is! Our very first rare is a Sarkon. Well, uh, yeah. That's Neato Burrito. And a Foil Smite the Monstrous. Okay. Second rare... Gonna be... I don't know. I'm not gonna call anything anymore. A Meandering Tower Shell. Mediocre. So definitely a drop from Sarkon. Sultai Ascendancy. Very good. Very nice. So how have your uh, pack openings been going? Dragon Throne of Tarkir. I hope they've been uh, reasonably saucy. In our official Karns of Tarkir box opening, we pulled very well. Hardened scales. Oop, keep it on focus there, buddy. So that was nice. I have a feeling that the box with the planeswalkers in it, though, will have. We have a foil disdainful stroke. And a villainous wealth. Uh, with the fetch lands, or with planeswalkers in it, we'll have fewer fetch lands. That's just based on my experience, not not on. That's just based on anecdotal evidence. Woo, a foil avalanche tusker. Is our foil rare? And our rare rare is thousand winds. Well, our foil rare was not a fetch land, so that's a thing. Wonder how many times I'm gonna how many times I'm gonna call these things shock lands. A rare. Ankle Shanker. Very good. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I don't keep cutting off the card. So how have you guys' pulls been? Blood Soak Champion. Very good. This card will see constructed play, no doubt. No diggity. No doubt. I kind of forgot about that card. And I bet you forgot about that song, fellow old people. Fellow old people, see the unwritten. Mythical? How mythical. How very mythical of you, sir. Why, thank you. Do, do. Necropolis Fiend. I'm still battling a wicked flu. It is just about sucking the life out of me. Want to save a box, Mantis Rider. I'm trying to save a box to open on stream tonight. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like I'm so tired that I may not be able to stream. Maybe I can seek a nap in or something. Ooh, okay, wooded foothills. Fetchtacular. Ooh, I'm gonna have to use that for the title of maybe my official video. 
Yeah. And hostilities. Board wiper. Board wipe. Board wipe. Wipe your board. Ooh, a foil Mountain Dew. Now rare, a butcher of the horde. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. Very, very good. All right, we have only seen one fetchy, but we have seen a Sarcan. So that's a thing. As as I thought, we wouldn't see so many fetch lands because of that. Rakasha Death Dealer, I think this card's great. I like it a lot. I would love to build around it. I would love to hear about what you're building around it. All right. Whoa. Howl of the Horde. Definitely uh, always interested to see what uh, homebrews are going on out there. I think Golgari or Green Black was already pretty strong near the end of Altar of the Brood. Was pretty strong near the end of uh, last set, M15, or Theros block. Bloodsoak Champion. Yeah, keep those coming. I need three, two more. Can use a uh, play set of those. Uh, for those of you who have not kept up, I have decided that I will be playing more standard Trap Essence. And uh, part of that will be actually keeping some of the cards instead of selling them and then buying into MTGO, which is what I do. And I know it's not like popular, but MTGO is just easier for me to play Magic on. That's just the, the reality. Wingmate Rock, very good card. This will see constructed play, I'm almost certain. Um, yeah, so... Even though a lot of people, it's popular to kind of hate on MTGO. And, you know, I'll be the first one to tell you it's got plenty of problems. But it's what fits my schedule, you know. I want to play Magic on Demand. And uh, we have a tr Foil Trumpet Blast. Now, Rare is a Siege Rhino. I kind of just like to, you know, play late nights. And sometimes I like to play during the day. I get, you know, sometimes I draft at 10 a.m., sometimes I draft at 10 p.m., and that's just how I am, personally. Doesn't mean that, you know, ooh, outer end, very saucy removal. You know, it's just how I am. I cannot advocate financially. MTGO is not better than owning the cards, I can tell you that much. Mm, crackling Doom. Crackling Doom, a store-bought woman. Oh, wait. No, that's not right. Oh. It's funny when I show how old I am. All right. Oh, Flooded Strand. Yes. All right. That is two. You know, at some point, you know, I feel like it. it you'd think that it would get, like, less exciting to pull them. But it really isn't. It's just always exciting because you know what? These things are going to hold their value. They'll fluctuate around, but, I mean, they are just, I don't know, it's an awesome pull. Sage of the Inward Eye. I just like pulls that I know are going to hold value or are going to be uh, liquid in trade because, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm not going to need every fetch. You know, maybe I'll need only four of them. Blood St. Myers, you know. Dragon Style Twins. The old soothsayer. All right. So again, I want to take a moment to thank the amazing people at MTG Card Market for sponsoring this, basically the entire release weekend's openings. They've been a long time supporter of their channel. You'll find their link in the description below. Obs on Ascendancy. And the channel just could not, I could not open the volume of stuff I do if not for people like MTG Card Market. So thank you guys. Icy Blast. Getting down near the end here. So what are you guys most looking forward to pulling in, in the comment section down below? 
Rattleclaw Mystic. Oh, yeah. That card's going to be, I would assume, very important and standard for the entire period in which it is playable. Having a play set of those is a good thing. Oh, just kidding. Woo! Oh, there we are. Surak Dragonclaw. Okay. Still so much of the set that I have not even pulled. I need a Sorin. Obviously, I need more fetch lands. I mean, who doesn't need more fetch lands? Girl's Fire Blade. Fun little card in draft, I think. Um, you can put it on a creature that's morphed, which is kind of fun. Whoop, Altar of the Brood. You know, I just I don't know if this is like you guys, but for me, I just there's like artifacts just have this stigma to me where I just don't like them. I know it's not fair to think like that, but I'm just being real. Just being real, yo. Well, whoops, I screwed up. Hardened scales and a foil smoke teller. All right, last two packs. Again, thank you, MTG Card Market. And you, the subscribers, if you happen to be new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe as we'll be doing all sorts of fun stuff. We got a Foil Ruthless Ripper and a Mind Swipe. Mind Swipe! Um, channel is so much more than openings. Subscribe and find out exactly what we're doing. Let's finish it off with a fetch. Ready? Ooh, a foil rare. Kabu spell, or no, Kiru spell snatcher. Is our foil rare was in the last pack. Finish it off with a fetch. Ah, Ivory Tusk Fortress. Good card. Not fetching. So, as predicted, uh, the fetch land like distribution. I mean, it could have just been coincidence. A lot of magic is coincidence, like in terms of pulls and stuff, and people like to apply, like, fact, you know, factual stuff to opinion. Oh, I got two foil rares in this box, so that's pretty good. And a Sarkhan. So, a very pedestrian box, but we have a Sarkhan. Um, what at Foothills? Flooded Strand. Wingmate Rock, so all very playable cards that will hold value. Radical Mystic, very good. Surak, good. Kiru Spell Snatcher, I don't know about this card. Um, Icy Blast. I think we got a couple of Crackling Dooms, which is good. Utter End. A couple Blood Soak Champion. Actually, very good box. Butcher of the Horde. Decent value in this box. It's see the Unwritten Ankle Shanker. Yeah, I, sp I think I spoke too soon. That was not a bad box. Uh, so if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, please take a second to crush that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, I look forward to chatting with you in the comment section down below. Follow me on twitch.tv slash MTG Headquarters where I live stream typically Tuesday nights. And also uh, I open packs on live stream and we just have fun and I dance and I sing and everyone has a good time. So thanks for watching this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.